A lot of people on this channel ask me what is the best mini PC to play up to PlayStation 4 for retro gaming. And so in this video, we're gonna check out that best budget computer. It is the B-Link SER5. And uh, we're gonna pair it with those tw this 12 terabyte hard drive that has almost every single game ever on it, retro gaming. We're gonna check out uh, PlayStation 3 and Nintendo Switch because those tend to be the most taxing. If it can play Switch and, and, and um, PlayStation 3, it's gonna play PS2, it's gonna play GameCube, Wii, Wii U, and everything underneath. And spoiler alert, this thing delivers. There's a couple optimizations you should do to this thing very easy to do I'm gonna walk you through how to do that but uh, in this video let's go ahead and unbox this thing show you my setup we'll then give you the optimizations and then we'll actually do some testing on it to show that it actually is a workhorse here so here it is right here it's a b-link it's really tiny it fits in the size of my hand you can wall mount it comes with an HDMI cable comes with the power cable um, 500 gigabyte hard drive included but we're just gonna be hooking up that 12 terabyte hard drive via USB to it we're also gonna be hooking up an Xbox to 60 controller a wired one this is like a ten dollar controller really easy to get but remember this little mini pc here also has bluetooth so any wireless controller you have like a ps4 controller ps5 controller xbox one controller um, a lot of that stuff you can get it to pair with these things or you might need a fob to get it done and then there's all sorts of third-party controllers as well so this thing has windows 11 on it so you just start you put a little username on there and get started just like you would any new computer the one thing you really want to do though is install the amd ryzen 5800h driver so go to the AMD website, install their Adrenaline software, and go and update. That's going to give you the best drivers for the CPU and the GPU that's built in here. Um, you're then going to want to boot up the computer in BIOS. In order to do that, you're going to hit delete on your keyboard. When you restart your computer, it'll take you here. Go to advanced. Then once you're in an advanced, you're going to go ahead and go to the um, NBIO common options, and then you're gonna go to SMU options, and then you're gonna go down here. You wanna change these bottom three values to 40,000. Okay, I messed up there, you can delete. So these bottom three are gonna be changed from 3,500 to 4,000. They're just gonna up, the, up them just a little bit, and then for the graphics configuration, go from 3G to 4G. Press escape a couple times, and then save it, and you've now optimized your mini PC. All right, we got our hyper spin. We got an Xbox 360 controller wired, although this is Bluetooth, so Bluetooth controllers are gonna work on here as well. Especially, I think a lot of people are gonna wanna put this in their, in their like living room and then just play with it wirelessly. We're gonna click Arcade over here and then click Hyper Spin Attraction. And here we go. Anyways, you can click the button to get in there a little faster. And the question is, will this thing play PlayStation 3? Right, that's kind of the, can it play PlayStation 3? Let's see if we can do that. PlayStation 3, here we go. Let's click in. Let's try Raymond. Fun adventure game. Oh yeah, this is like butter. You talking about butter? Yeah, I'm talking about butter. All right, so there you have it. It is working. It is running at 1080p, 60 hertz, and it's looking and running beautifully. Believe, remember I said earlier about the living room? You can absolutely put this computer next to your big screen OLED TV and be playing all this stuff wirelessly. That's probably the way to do Doesn't it. Doesn't have like a spinning attack? And uh, as you can see, it runs fine. I play about three more other titles here, but PS3, check. Next game, playing PlayStation 3 again, Ridge Racer 7, same settings, 1080p, and uh, it is running flawlessly. This is super clean. No lag whatsoever, no jitters, no screen tears, nothing. And then if you're really into this emulation stuff, you could change your emulation core, you could change the actual uh, aspect ratio, you can go into windowed mode for even more performance, you can even go and uh, change your resolution. You can go uh, downscale or upscale the actual image as well. Whoa, got a little sideways there. I'm just zigzagging here. Oh yeah. City skyline, skyline over here. I can't even see the course where the, oh. Oh! All right, this is running great, no issues. Let me drift that. Uh, nice and tight. Pikachu versus Kirby. Let's go. Got a little lag there. 
Little lag. Oh, I thought it was Kirby. My bad. Okay, there's a little tiny lag as you see there. Now, something you can do, we can pause. We can hit escape here. Yeah, go into windowed mode here. And then just don't play full screen. It should actually help quite a bit. Um, there's also portable mode. Right now, are we in, uh, we're in docked mode. So if you even want even more down here, it says you're docked, you would just go over here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you could just click it down here. So you notice the graphics descale quite a bit. You go to handheld mode. If you want zero lag, let's go to handheld and let's do full screen. And as you see here, zero lag. There's no lag now. There's a lot going on on the screen. And it's running very well. On top of that, you can then go into a windowed mode on top of that if you needed additional, you know, lag free. And then I like dock. I like docked. I think it looks just a lot better. So I try to get it to work in docked. A lot of the lower end games are going to run just fine. Here's one of these hard drives. You got yourself a brand new computer. You don't have to worry about virus. Everyone's like, virus, virus. This is full of viruses. Okay. Just buy yourself one of these. Buy yourself one of these. There's no viruses coming out of your HDMI port. I don't think so. Put that to a big screen TV or a computer monitor. You get all your Sony Playstations. You're going to get all your Nintendo systems from Nintendo Switch, GameCube. You're going to have all your Sega systems, Sega Saturn, even your Sega Arcade systems. This is a massive collection of all the games you ever grew up on, all on this 12 terabyte hard drive. When you connect these two together, and then all you need is a controller of some kind, it really is plug and play at that point. You're, you're rocking and rolling with this stuff. So um, I think people ask me what's a budget computer if you were to buy one. I think this B-Link is great. It doesn't get too hot. It's very quiet. The specs on it are very good and it's reasonably uh, a reasonable cost. They do make a version with 32 gigabytes of RAM. That might be a slight improvement, but don't expect a lot. You could save a little bit of money by going with the 16 gigabyte version. So in conclusion, this is the mini PC for you if you're on a budget and that 12 terabyte hard drive. Remember, it's still a Windows machine at the end of the day, so you can still watch movies on it, do whatever the hell you want to do. It's fully functional, so quite a good deal if you ask me, but that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.